Fox News alert on our top story now. A dramatic moment in the House Ways and Means Committee hearing on the IRS just a short time ago. It came as Congressman Mike Kelly of Pennsylvania was wrapping up his questions to some of the conservative groups targeted by the tax agency. Watch here as Congressman Kelly addresses some of the political attacks we heard in the hearing room this morning. But isn't it incredible I mean, what you're going through? to maintain your First Amendment rights. And, and I, I would just tell you, this is not a problem that's in Cincinnati. This is a problem that's deep in the bowels of this government. Mm -hmm. And if there's some point that we cannot stop this culture of fear, this government-sponsored fear, then we are really coming up short on what the oath is that we took. And we didn't take it to the Republican Party. I'm so sick of hearing mm -hmm. about, oh, it's about Republicans or Democrats. This is about Americans. This is basically who we are. We took an oath of office not to defend the rights of Republicans or Democrats or Libertarians or just those that just want to live here and just be left alone. We took a, an oath to defend our Constitution. Mm -hmm. So I really applaud you for what you're doing today. Do not give up on this because I think the idea, if you can stall them long enough, if you can drive their cost high enough, it cost me 60 grand, by the way, in legal fees mm. to get my dealership back. And I was told by a member of this Congress, well, the system allowed you to get it back. I said, oh, my goodness. <laughs> so I was able to get back what the government stole from me. Isn't that a novel idea? Mm. So thank you for what you're doing. Stay the course. Do not give up. And please spread the word to the rest of the American public. Do not be afraid of this government. It is only when we fear the government that we lose. This is a government that is supposed to serve the people. The people are not supposed to serve it. So keep up the fight. We're with you, and we've got your back. Thank you. Wow. In five minutes, we will speak more about a couple of key moments we observed this morning where some on the committee, a couple of high-ranking Democrats in particular, seem to be challenging the witnesses, seeming in the eyes of some, because uh, we heard Paul Ryan respond that way afterward, uh, to blame the victims for what happened to them at the IRS. We'll talk about whether that was a fair and balanced uh, fair, fair charge in a fair and balanced debate moments from now.